Hi West Michigan, Storm Team 8 meteorologist Sarah Flynn here and today we're getting a bit crafty. We have a solar eclipse upcoming on April 8th, 2024. It will be a total solar eclipse from Texas all the way to Maine. But here in West Michigan, we're looking at about a 90% partial eclipse. Now in order to view the eclipse, you have to have the right type of glasses. You need certified solar eclipse glasses, which are 100,000 times darker than just regular sunglasses. Regular sunglasses will not work. Now the Grand Rapids Public Museum is selling solar eclipse glasses for $1.75. But if you can't make it out there, or maybe they run out as we get closer to the event, or maybe you're watching me in another state, Today, we're going to learn how to make a solar eclipse viewer with just some basic materials. You'll need any cereal box, a blank piece of white paper, a pencil, tape, scissors, and a piece of foil. Now this entire craft will take about five to 10 minutes. And once you have all of your basic materials, the first thing you're going to want to do is cut two holes in the top of the box, one on the left side, and one on the right side. Now that we have two holes at the top of the cereal box, one of which you'll be able to look through and view the partial eclipse, the other one we're eventually going to cover with foil. But the next step of this process is to trace the bottom of the cereal box. So you'll want your white piece of paper for this and your pencil. You'll set the cereal box onto the white paper and trace around. Now, if you do it precisely, it'll be the exact right size that it needs to fit. Once you have that bottom of the cereal box traced out, you're going to cut it out. Once you have your white piece of paper cut out, it should fit snugly at the bottom of your cereal box like that. Now that you have your two openings at the top of the cereal box and that piece of white paper at the bottom of the cereal box, the next step is pretty simple. You're just going to tape these two remaining cardboard pieces at the top together to create that divide. Now that we have two clear openings at the top of our cereal box, you're going to want to cover one with foil. It doesn't matter which side you cover with foil, but I tend to prefer the one that will be on my left side. So that's what I'm going to do. Place the foil on the top of the cereal box, and luckily it should bend and fit pretty snugly onto there, like this. Once it's snugly on there, you're going to want to tape down the side so it can't move. Now we're officially on to our last step. For this part, it can get a little bit tricky, so you may want the help of a parent or a nearby adult. You'll want to take something a little bit pointy, like the top of a pencil, and you're going to want to poke a hole into the foil. The reasoning for this is the sun will come through that hole in the foil, and it will allow you to see the sun at the bottom of that cereal box on that white paper. You now have your official solar eclipse viewer all completed. This is what it should look like when everything is done. We can head outside and test it. Let's go there now. When the time comes of the solar eclipse, you'll wanna come outside and make sure that your back is facing the sun. Remember, it's not safe to look at the solar eclipse without solar eclipse glasses. You're going to want to line yourself up so the sun goes through the small foil hole and you can look through the open side of the cereal box. When you do that, you'll be able to see a little white dot at the bottom of the box on the white piece of paper. That represents the sun. When the time of the partial eclipse happens, you'll be able to see that little white dot slowly get covered. That's the moon covering the sun. Here in West Michigan, a crescent shape will be seen indicating a partial solar eclipse. Thank you so much for joining us. For more information on the solar eclipse, visit our Eclipse 2024 page on woodtv.com.